This is Hayes Q. Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget, and this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, welcome. You know the routine. Come on in, make yourself at home. You are greatly appreciated. This week takes me to Dollar General. I haven't had a lot of luck at Dollar General this time. I actually found a Dollar General with a lot of movies, so I actually found something. I also have some uh, fantastic pickups I picked up at the pawn shop. One of my lucky watering holes. Picked up some great Disney Blu-rays. have uh, my classic pick of the week. Kind of giving, giving a shout out and honor to the late, great Harry Belafonte. I have my 3D pick for the week. So before I get into what I picked up at Dollar General and at the pawn shops, not only do I collect movies, I'm one of these weird individuals. Yes, I actually watch them. And on a weekly basis, just like to share some of the things I've watched either live in the theater, like I am right now, as you see, or streaming or physical media. To jump right into it, this is a 2017 action thriller, Checkpoint, directed by Thomas J. Churchill, starring Kenny Johnson. If you're a fan of the old television, FX television show, The Shield, you might know him as Lim on The Shield. You have William Forsythe, which for some reason, past two weeks, I've been watching movies with William Forsythe in it. Not intentionally, he just popped up in the fucking movie. Weird as hell. Yeah, Bill Goldberg, you might know him as the yeah, big WWE wrestler. Fred Williamson, the great black exploitation actor from that period. You might know him as Slaughter or um, Bucktown. You have Ricky Harris, the late comedian who passed a few years ago. But this story somewhat revolves around Kenny Johnson's partner. He's an ex-military person who's fallen on his luck. He's kind of homeless. Well, he is homeless. But he notices something strange going on in his town. And he tries to alert the sheriff and his, his brother or brother-in-law what's going on. And they kind of brush it off as he's just a little out of touch with reality. And this is actually based on a real real life story, which is kind of tripped out. Don't want to give too much detail because I went in knowing little to nothing about the movie. So I feel you should have the same option. But it goes into this big conspiracy that a couple people in the town are actually behind. Not a bad low budget action thriller which really, really tripped me out though it was really based on American story American uh, a real real life story which in today's society I can actually see really happening so not a bad pickup you can probably find this maybe Dollar General I don't know if I'll pick the Dollar Tree or not probably Dollar Tree if you get it it's worth a buck checkpoint my next movie is actually something I saw streaming, even though it is still playing in the theaters. This is The Pope's Exorcist, a 2023 American supernatural horror film based on the book and or based on the books. An exorcist tells a story and an exorcist more stories by Father Gabriel Amorth, starring Russell Crowe as Father Gabriel, Daniel Zavato, Alex Esso, and Frank Nero, if that name sounds familiar to you, Frank Nero played in the original Django movie, not the Jamie Foxx Django, but the original one, I think, which came out in the 70s. Pope's Exorcist is pretty much what it sounds like. This guy is the Pope's Exorcist, and he goes around and he investigates possible possessions. And very cool movie. Was it scary? I don't think I've seen a scary movie in a decade. So, but it has that creep factor. Very, very fluid, fast-moving horror picture. Very cool. Get the opportunity. Still in theaters. Uh, I believe some places you can see it streaming. 2023's The Pope's Exorcist. The next one is a 2023 fantasy heist comedy. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. And I think this is the third Dungeons and Dragons. I know one of them I think might have had Marlon Wayans in it. I forgot the original one. But none of them are related, so you can actually watch them all individually. None of them have 
any interaction with each other. This one was directed and written by Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly, starring Chris Pine, probably know him from Star Trek, Michelle Rodriguez, probably know her from Fast and Furious, who I thought was very cute when she came out, but is not aging well. Sorry. You have, and I'm probably going to ruin this brother's name, I believe it's Roger Jean Page. Don't know him from anything. A pretty boy. Uh, Justice Smith, you might know him from the last two Jurassic Park. He's like the nerdy, light-skinned black guy. Uh, Sophia Lillis and Hugh Grant, the John of the 90s. If you know Hugh Grant, you know what I'm talking about when I talk about the John of the 90s. This is a really fun, fast-paced, action, fantasy comedy. Chris Pine is... Well, Chris Pine and Michelle Pro- Pro- Rodriguez are the protagonists, and they're trying to find this certain item which will allow Chris Pine to bring someone from his past back to his present. I don't want to give too much detail. Very fun, very fast-paced, good action movie. Probably better than the last two Dungeons & Dragons that I've seen. So get the opportunity to still play in the theaters, or you might be able to catch it streaming. 2023's Fantasy Heist, Dungeons & Dragons. My last pick is what my wife and actually went to the theater to see. This is the third installment of the Guardians of the Galaxy. This is a 2023 American superhero film directed and written by James Gunn, starring Chris pa- Chris Pratt from the other two Guardians of the Galaxy, as well as from the Jurassic Park movies, I think the past three or four movies. You have Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, who I've been really getting into the past couple of years, a lot of his movies. Not a bad actor. Karen Gillan, Vin Diesel as I Am Groot, and Bradley Cooper as Rocket. This, in my opinion, is probably the best installment of all the Guardians of the Galaxy. Fantastic action. A lot of very dramatic, sensitive, somewhat tear-jerking moments. So, and it's put together so well, you can have a tear, a tear, very sensitive moment, followed up immediately by a very funny kind of uh, side-cracking moment. So. A lot of action, a lot of comedy, a lot of drama. You're seeing more of the backstory of Rocket, as well as some of the new powers of some of the other characters, Dave Batista, um, the lady with the antennas, as well as Groot. Fantastic movie, fantastic action. I think you're going to see in the future probably more spinoffs of the individual characters, either on the Disney streaming channel or possibly with their own movies. So get an installment of the Marvel Universe um, installment. Get the opportunity to see it live in the theaters, Guardians of the Galaxy in 3D, or get them video. I'll probably wait till I get some video. Hopefully this will be a regular American 3D release, not one of those Japanese releases that cost out ass and they're expensive as hell. But that's what I've seen for the week. Now, without further ado, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video. here at the Dollar General in Sepner, Florida. This is a newer one. I haven't had any luck pulling movies out of Dollar General. I can't remember the last time, so I'm thinking maybe just because a newer one, maybe it might have a bigger selection. Let's check it out and see.
here back at the Black Cave. Back at the Black Cave. We are back at the motherfucking Black Cave. Have my pickups from uh, Dollar Tree. I actually got a little something, something from, excuse me, Dollar General. I actually picked something up from Dollar General. Have something from the pawn shops. Have my classic pick for the week, as well as my 3D pick. So hold on, let me get these scanned in, and we'll jump right into it. Hold on. Okay, we're going to kick it off with what I picked up at Dollar General. And yes, I actually found something at Dollar General. If you've watched my channel, you know I'm kind of a Reese's freak. So Reese's Chips Ahoy. Yes, I love them. I think they put an addictive chemical that make you crave it day and night. Yeah, I stole that from my... So I married an axe murderer. But I did actually find a movie. A movie that... I probably haven't seen since the VHS days. This is 15 Minutes, Robert De Niro, Edward Burns, a slam bang thriller. I don't remember it being that fast paced, but it's been a while since I've seen it. So looking forward to watching this again, 15 minutes. And what did I pay for that? I think it's four bucks. I think it was four bucks. I get rid of this glare. Hold on. Okay, that's better. 15 minutes, and this is a Warner Brothers distribution. So, so I picked up at Dollar General. Uh, next, uh, went to a, a few pawn shops, didn't pick up anything. On a weekly basis, I check out Cash America because it's right down the street from me. And sometimes, past couple weeks, Maybe one, maybe nothing. This week, well, you'll see. I'm going to kick it off with uh, HBO Snapcase Wishcraft. I've never, never seen this. Michael Weston, Alexandra Holden. And this school, when you're marked absent, you won't be coming back. So I love those corny tags like that. HBO release and when when did this come out? The 2003 Witchcraft. Next, we have The Haunting. This is an Echo Bridge 18 movie collection. And let's see what we have here. With Echo Bridge, they tend to duplicate on a lot of their collections, so I'm sure I'll have some of these already, but let's take a look here. This is Descendant. The Legend of Sorrow Creek, Empty Rooms, Seven Nights of Darkness, 976 Evil 2, the sequel, Breadcrumbs, Lost Souls, The, Tell the Telltale Heart, which is in Edgar Allan Poe story, which I read as a kid, Evidence of a Haunting, Living in Peril, Asylum, The Dark, Dark Spirits, Legacy of Evil, Forever Mind, Jekyll and Hyde, The Little Shop of Horrors, and Memories. All of these for the price of a quarter. Haunting. So, not bad. Next, I have a bootleg copy of this. Happy to get the original Brother Blade himself, Wesley Brother Snipes, Game of Death. Kick-ass action film that actually kicks ass. And this is a Sony, Sony release, Game of Death. I had the disc for this, disc for this, but didn't have the artwork. This is DJ Hughley's Shackles. I believe he's like a school teacher. I don't remember the whole story. It looks like a drama. And this is a Sony release, another Sony release. And let's see, I have the show, excellent documentary with the late big. Uh, Russell Simmons, Sin, I have that. I have seven seconds. I don't have these three. Hustle of Heat, Doing Hard Time, or Motos. <laughs> I, I just got this. I, I, was, I just picked this up. Unstoppable, I have Twa. I haven't seen Twa 2 any place. I have Twa the Escort. That was some ratchet shit though, but. Okay, this is Shackles, Sony release. And speak of the devil, I just picked this up. Richard T. Jones, I believe he was in The Woods with Omar Epps. Great movie. This is that 
Bill Bellamy also, I believe. You got Master P from No Limit Records. And if you know uh, Master P, that's his signature signature sound. Uh, Master P. But this looks like a prison film. This is a TriStar Sony release. A lot of Sonys in here. Lockdown. Oh, I think that's old boy. It looks like the dude who's in um, the movie with Denzel Washington, where Denzel Washington is passing the, the the spirit of this dead person is passing from body to body. Can't think of the name of it right now, but I that's him from that movie. Lockdown, TriStar. Next, we have Mike Epps, Underrated, Never Faded, Live from Detroit. Not one of my favorite stand-up comedians, though, but he's not bad. Not bad. He's not... Paul Mooney, Richard Pryor, or George Carlin, but not bad about Mike Epps. And this is a by Bendy distribution release. Omar Epps, underrated, never faded. This looks like a, a fun thriller, Larva, a terror that gets under your skin. And this is a first look distribution. Not really familiar with them. This old blockbuster case. Larva. First look distribution. Next we have John Woo, great director. He's directed some of the great action films. Uh, Chang, Chow Young, Chow Young Fats. Um, um, God, just drawing a blank right now. Uh, Heart Boiled. Uh, he did. Um, Nicholas Cage and John Travolta face off and another one that's case right now though, but he's known for his action films. Hard Boy, The Killer, that's the other Chow Young Fat movie that John Woo was famous for. Another first look studio release. Blood Brothers. Next, this is a VHS throwback. I have a VHS transfer to DVD. Hell's Kitchen, I believe this is a a drama. Rosanna Arquette, William Forsyth, Angelina Jolie, Makai Pfeiffer, and Johnny Whitworth. Hell's Kitchen. And this is a artistry, two left shoes release. Hell's Kitchen. Next, saw this. Looked, it looked interesting for a quarter. Yeah, you're not gonna go wrong for this. Wide Awake, these are five short films. Beauty, Stan, Self-Defeated, Select Fit, and Apartment B. So, not really sure what this is about, but looked interesting for a quarter. I figured I'd check it out. And this is a Lionsgate release. And to round off the DVDs, I have the late Patrick Swayze. Letters from a Killer, Don't Open the Mail, it's like Suspense, Murder Mystery possibly, The Sterling Release, Letters from a Killer, you can see that. Okay, next we'll move into some Blu-rays here. I believe these were a buck a piece, if, if that. Open Season 3. I know the original Open Season had Martin Lawrence and a couple other stars. I'm not sure if this continues the same voices. Doesn't look like it. David Stern. I'm not sure who does the voices in this one. But Sony release. Artwork on the back. Nice artwork on the disc. Open Season 3. We have Michael J. Fox doing the voice of Stuart Little. Gina Davis. So we're from House. Never watched that show. This is a Sony TriStar release. Nice artwork on the back. Stuart Little. We have the sequel, Stuart Little 2, 
There's actually a third Stuart Little. I don't know if they have a Blu-ray for that one. Beautiful artwork on the back. Another Sony TriStar release. Next we have Cinderella, the Diamond Edition. And the Blu-ray and the DVD. Cinderella the original. Been looking for this for a while on Blu-ray for a buck. More than happy to get this. Still balling on the budget. The Disney classic, The Great Mouse Detective. And we have the Blu-ray and the DVD. Leave that out. I'll actually put this with my Cars collection. I have all three Cars, the Cars trilogy in 3D. Now I have the Mater movie, the Mater's a truck. His friend in the Cars trilogy. Mater's Tall Tales. Another Sony release. We have the Pirates. I don't know who does the voices in it, if I recognize any of the voices. Oh, Hugh Grant. I think that's the one I recognize. This is a Sony, a lot of Sony releases in this batch. Ah, this is a bonus disc, got the bonus disc, the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the beautiful artwork on the back. The Pirates. Next we have, I have this, but they upgraded the audio to 7.1. I think that mine is 5.1, so. Nice little upgrade on the sound system him here. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. The DVD and the Blu-ray. And Dick Van Dyke, he is still alive and kicking. It looks well. Looks very well. I think he might be approaching 100. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Along with Sally Ann Howells and Lionel Jeffries. Next we have... I already have this. I might actually uh, resell this. The Diamond Edition, Beauty of Beauty and the Beast, the 3D version. You have the 3D Blu-ray. You have the feature DVD. You have the bonus material Blu-ray. You have the feature on DVD and the digital copy. Beauty and the Beast 3D. Pinocchio, the 70th Anniversary Edition, to this Platinum. So I have the Blu-ray, the bonus feature in Blu-ray, and there's probably a third disc somewhere. That's all right though, I have the ones that I wanted. Pinocchio, 70th, 70th anniversary and I already have this though but I know this goes like for 30 bucks online sometimes so I might be reselling this meet the Robinsons 3d I haven't seen this yet either so just take, taking a glance at the 3d of course Disney's 3d is usually on point meet the Robinsons And for my 3D pick of the week, I have the 3D masterpiece, Gerhard Mantz, Shadows of Paradise. I haven't had a chance to look at this. I think it's just kind of artsy kind of stuff like this, which I really kind of dig if I'm in the mood to watch 3D and really good 3D. So I haven't had a chance to watch this. Hopefully it's true. And I haven't seen the volume one. I think I looked online for volume one. Don't know if that's still available. My 3D pick for the week. And for my classic pick for the week, in memory of the late, great Harry Belafonte, Buck and the Preacher, well, the late, great Sidney Poitier and Harry Belafonte, two phenomenal actors, two phenomenal activists. They will greatly be missed. It's a fantastic movie here. I love the extras. The extra has his 
Harry Belafonte's daughter, not Sherry, but another one. And she makes this line, it's like he was a, a great actor. He was so great that he made everybody think he was a singer when he was really an actor. So, but Buck and the Preacher, the Criterion Collection on Blu-ray. Nice little extras here. Another interesting story about this, the original director, they actually fired him. I guess they were having some issues and Sydney ended up taking over the director position. So just a little added info. You have Sydney and Harry. Also you have um, Ruby D in this also. Ruby D was a little hottie back in the day, so. But this is my, these, these are my picks for the week. Oh. And just to let you know, I'm still balling on the budget. This is what I paid for all of the Cash America. So basically, just for Cash America alone. Uh, get all this together. All this right here. Let me zoom out a little bit if I can. Oops. But all this for 26.61, so what was that? 11 Blu-rays at $22, 11 DVDs at $2.75. You can't beat that at Dollar Tree, what's up? So let me separate the disc from the plastic and the artwork and get you good people on your way, hold on. Everything is scanned into my CLZ Movies app. C is in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. L is in Larva. Z is in Z for Zachariah. Let's wrap this up. everything laid out ready to be put back in its proper place as usual i appreciate each and every one of you hanging in there watching the video leaving comments if you made this far give me the big thumbs up hit the bell subscribe 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 other than that may the best of your past be the worst of your future everyone be safe deuces